Hi, I'm Aaron Style from Gardening with Style on Iowa PBS, and I'm sitting in my front yard today. I want to talk to you about one of my absolute favorite spring blooming bulbs, and that's the daffodil. Their bright, cheery flowers can usually be found in yellow, although you can sometimes get them in white and cream, uh, oranges or pinks, and sometimes even red. And they're characterized by that very distinctive cup or corona in the center of the flower. They are planted in the fall as a bulb and come up relatively early in the spring, although the time of bloom varies depending on the cultivar you might have. I love these flowers because they are just so easy to grow, almost foolproof in fact. They have very few disease or insect problems and the deer and the rabbits and the rodents leave the bulbs alone, allowing them to get better with age, growing and naturalizing in your garden. Care of daffodils is really pretty easy. You plant them in the fall, usually October is best, and then water them in and let them do their thing. They'll come up in the spring and bloom. Once the bloom is finished, you'll wanna cut back or deadhead that flower stalk, but leave the foliage. The foliage needs to stay in place to allow it to die back and feed that bulb for the following year. In my garden, I like to use daffodils in large drifts or clumps. This allows them to really showcase the blooms. And in fact, most spring bulbs look best planted in big drifts or large clumps. They have their foliage stick around for quite a while, so you'll want to be sure uh, to have something to hide that foliage later on in the season. So planting them with something uh, that comes up later in the season, like a hosta or a uh, um, purple cone flower, uh, phlox or other plants that can help mask that foliage works really well. They want to be in full sun, well-drained soils, but you can plant them in shade gardens if that shade is made from deciduous trees because they do most of their work early enough in the spring the leaves aren't on those deciduous trees. You can force them in containers indoors. They need about 12 to 15 weeks in your refrigerator after you pot them up in a container. Then you pull them out and they will bloom about two weeks later. And they also make really nice cut flowers. Although you don't want to pair them with other flowers in the same vase because they tend to shorten the life of other flowers because of a compound that they have in their stems. I hope this inspires you to try daffodils in your own garden. Thanks for joining me with this gardening tip on Gardening with Style.